G'day sports fans, it's Phantom Air 100 here, and welcome back to Super Smash Bros Ultimate, where we play some more online games, go through all the characters, and have a bit of fun on the way. Last week, uh, I covered the final hero in Smash, Sora, as he finally arrived, and I thought to myself, wow, it's going to be really hard to top the hype for this, like after Sora coming out, most requested character, finishing the game, all that sort of thing. I didn't have any luck with it last week, but it was still really fun, so go and check out that video if you have not already, but I was like, who do I play after that? I should play a character I'm also not familiar with, but I have no idea who, considering that I just don't know how you top Sora. And um, I just thought to myself, you know what, well, aside from playing all the OG characters, I haven't played Dark Samus yet, but they're very similar to regular Samus, um, and I played Peach for the channel, so it's like, if you don't include Echo Fighters, I should try Bowser next. So that's where we're at today, we're, we're going to play some Bowser. Uh, I've played him for about probably... I don't know, 10 minutes uh, in just some offline smash just a few minutes ago. So I've learned what all of his attacks do, and that's about it. So uh, yeah, we're going to play some Bowser today and uh, see if we can't get a lucky win with a new character. Who knows, maybe Bowser is my secret main and I just don't know about it yet. <laughs> Fight! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, our first opponent for today is going to be One Wolf playing at Mithra Pyra Combination. Okay, radio. Go! Oh, look at this. It's a, it's a slightly altered version of the, the Yoshi stage from N64 Smash. I used to hate the Yoshi stage because of its weird shape. It used to bug me quite a lot. I think the music's kind of classic, though. But uh, the, the stage itself used to really irritate me. I don't... Ow. Okay. Pyro, you've got to stop doing that. Seriously, stop comboing me. How are you at one zero percent? Am I that bad? Am I? I guess so. Well, I mean, I am. I am new to Bowser, so I have to acknowledge that I'm going to act like a new player because I'm, I'm you know, aside from a bit of practice, Bowser is a complete unknown to me. Was jumping in online immediately the new character a good idea? No, but is it a way to test our test our abilities and allow us to grow as a player by trying all the characters? Yes, because once you've tried everybody on the roster, we'll have a really defined idea of who suits us and who doesn't by trying all the characters out. A lot of people wouldn't do this. A lot of people would only play the characters they're used to and stick to that, you know, and, and be as sweaty as possible. And here I am, being as casual as possible because I want to expand my horizons and try every character. Oh, okay, that has a lot more launch pad than I thought it would. Oh god, I don't, <laughs> if I get hit by that, I'm just straight up dead. No, I disagree with your plans. Get out of here. Just don't let it... Oh, I let it hit me. I was just thinking to myself, don't let it hit you with that. And it happened. <laughs> Alright. If I can get one kill, that'd be awesome. It's probably not going to happen, but that's the goal, right? That's the goal, to at least get a kill on this planet. Jesus, one more for you. Stop. Is that really... Is that your foreseeable plan future, is it? Is that your foreseeable plan future? Get out of here. I do like that. It's not even a grab. I thought it was... When, I, when friends use Bowser against me, I thought that that was his grab attack. I thought, wait, is his throw that unique? But no, it's actually his side special. His side special is his own little throw. It's really cool. And it actually has decent launch power. It uh, does quite the launch when they're at a uh, high percentage. Excuse me, will you stop doing that? Oh, Mithra is a pain to fight because she's so fast. Pyra is a pain to fight because she hits so hard. <laughs> They're a great combo. Um, have I done a video on this character? I feel like I have, but I don't remember. I think I did. I think I did a video on her when she was new, but I 100% can't remember, so maybe I, well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just talked about doing it. I don't remember. Um, I'd have to go and check and see if I did do a video on her or not, because yeah, it's not coming back to me right now. I won't rematch her. She seemed really good, so we'll, uh, we'll look for a new opponent, see if we can do a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, well, I don't know if we'll be able to get a win out, but we're going to try anyway, because, like I said, I like trying new characters, so let's give it another go. Fight! And welcome back, guys. Our second opponent is T and D, and he's playing Kazia. Okay, this is going to be quite an opponent. So, so far, pretty recent DLC characters. Go! Kazia is very, very strong. The It's probably one of the only AI characters I'm actually legit really scared of, even at low levels, like... The Kazuya bot, for some reason, has just got this whole other extra layer of brain. So I have, I wouldn't say PTSD, but I have mild, mild anxiety fighting Kazuya, because 
just because of that. I mean, because he can hit really hard. He has a multi-hit combo, which is that move. And uh, it's very hard to avoid or play around. Oh, you stop doing that. That's really annoying. At least this guy doesn't seem to be... Yeah, that's right. This guy has his own little, like, grab thing as well. I've almost forgot about that for a second. Okay, let's... Wait, what are you getting cheered for? But see, see the crowd cheering for Kuz here. Well, guess what? I just killed him. So, uh, what are you going to say about that? Crowd? No! He killed me the same way. <laughs> Revenge is sweet. But it might make me sour if we do that again. Ow, you stop. Ow. No! Wait. Will this kill? It will, won't it? It did. Wow, it killed, and I lost my final smash meter charge up. That's very sad. Oh, you nasty piece of work. I could play Cow I could play Bowser, pretend I'm Kirby for a second. Ow, will you stop? Well, thanks for giving me this. It's not going to kill you because you're on 0% still, you scrub. But it's still going to hit you. It only does, so it does 37 percent, eh? That's not very much. Get out of here. Oh god, I really hate that. Ow! See what I mean? I really hate that move. No, the recovery time from that is too long! Ah! Fudge! Oh, even if you run into it. Ah, oh, fudge, that's annoying. Ow! Never expect the laser beam, huh? Looks like you could partially aim it too, which I actually didn't know. Tricks! Oh, what did you walk up to me for? Jokes on you! I was about to say tricks on you, but that doesn't sound. That didn't sound right. Right? That's that's not English, Phantom. You need to try that again. Oh no, fudge! If he hits me with that combo, I'm straight up dead. Because I'm at very high percentage. Miss! Oh! <laughs> Roar! Me Bowser! Me Big Brain! Okay. We're on, we're on 200% though. Like, anything he does will kill us. Okay. Ugh! Whew! Wow, that was super lucky. The fact that I broke his shield was the luckiest thing to happen. That was so lucky. Did not deserve that win. He should have beaten me. <laughs> Can't believe I broke his shield. That was so lucky. Oh, I wasn't sure if my smash attack would kill him with that percentage, but turns out the Bowser does hit pretty hard. So, yeah, it did. I'm really glad. Oh, that was that was really close. Honestly, I was on the edge of my seat. I was like, oh man, I want 200%. Anything can happen. Ah. <laughs> Didn't deserve that win, but we got it anyway. So can't change it. <laughs> Alright, so we have one more opponent to go, and we'll rematch them, so let's do this! Let's fight! And, our third opponent is going to be Mr. Melon, playing Joker. Is it Melon or Metton? I think it's, I'm not sure, I think it's Melon. Anyway, he's playing Joker. Joker in his fancy suit, which is the white colour again. Actually, I've never seen that before, it actually looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Um, Joker is a really high tier DLC. We've fought DLC characters this whole day. No Sauras though, I honestly expected to find more Sauras. But uh, as Bowser, who has been an OG character since the second game, Melee, we are, we are being forced to fight DLC characters only today by the seems of it. Fudge. Uh, I have no idea with I don't know if this guy... I can't really gauge what he's doing, so I'm trying to just play it safe. Okay, that shouldn't have worked, but it did. Okay, so maybe he's not... At the skill level of the last Joker I played, who was ridiculously OP. This fella seems a little bit more... I want to say hittable? For lack of a better term? Oh no. Okay, that wasn't going to hit me. As long as I stayed airborne, that was going to be a very hard hit. Oh! Wait. I don't remember killing him twice. Three times, I mean. I thought I only killed him twice. Wait. What? Where the, uh, did I really kill him three times? Well, I, I want to rematch him because that was over way too quickly. Please rematch me, Mr. Joker Man. Okay, guys, he didn't rematch us, so we're going to have a fourth opponent today. It's going to be Wario Man playing Mega Man. Could have been playing Wario. Go! Couldn't you have been playing Wario? Wouldn't that have been more appropriate? Anyway, 
uh, yeah, I was kind of sad the Joker didn't rematch me because that game felt way too short and I don't remember killing him three times. I'll have to go back when I'm editing and find out. Did I really kill him three times? Or did he SD? Because, I don't know, that just seemed over really quickly. Could be some my imagination. I will admit that I was kind of focused on talking about the character himself and not the match. It was my own fault. I wasn't giving him my full attention. Excuse me, Mr. Mega Man. Will you stop doing that, please? Now, Mega Man I have played before. I don't have a lot of experience with him. I don't know all of his attacks and stuff. But I have played him, just casually, with friends in the past. It's very cool. Actually, I'm surprised I haven't done a video on Mega Man, because playing the Mega Man games was a big part of, uh, not so much my childhood, but when I was, like, in high school, when I was a teenager, I played a lot of the Mega Man games. Uh, not many of the mainline ones, though. I was a bigger fan of the Mega Man Zero. Uh, so you're playing as Zero, the blonde haired dude. Um, there's, like, four of those games on the Game Boy Advance, and they are incredibly hard, but also really fun. Some of the coolest platformers ever. Um, I can't remember if I played all four. I know I played at least the first two. I don't remember if I played three or four. Um, I should do that. I should play them. They're really fun. Because uh, I do have them emulated on my PC. Oh, I'm just straight up dead here. This kills me quite handily. It's like Power Rangers. Okay, it d didn't kill me. I thought it might actually, because I thought his smash actually did a lot of damage. Oh, he tried. He succeeded. <laughs> I did it early. Well, actually, no, I didn't do it early. Um, that was automatic. He can't hold it forever, it seems. So, he just waited it out. Oh, fudge. Okay, his, uh, his special attacks are very, very oppressive. And there's not much I can do about that. Except try to stay alive. Ah, he knows now. He knows what I'm trying to do. No, not yet. Yes. He didn't expect me to do that. I didn't expect me to do that. That was kind of a random last minute decision process. Because just because it seems to work. No. I'm still alive. Bowser still lives. Can't kill me that easily. Ugh. Can't kill a big boy like that. Get here. Oh. Let's go. Oh, let's juggle No, we missed it. Oh, we were going we to juggle him and it was going to be really cool and then we, we completely failed. Now, can we beat this guy? I don't think so. But, we're not done yet, so let's keep trying. Ah. Naughty. Let's do this again. All right, big boy. Are you ready for this? Boom. <laughs> Got you that time. You ain't that tricky. You ain't no Will Smith. You ain't that jiggy with it. Not yet, anyway. Fudge. He's, still gonna, he's probably going to still beat me, though. But, we managed to sort of gain the percentage damage. That's pretty close. i got to stop whiffing on that attack, man. i got to stop doing it. He's not going to let me do it. Oh, oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Not near the edge. Not near the edge. Not like this. Actually, if he just straight up gets his final smash, we're in trouble. Oh! Oh no, this is what I was afraid of, this is what I was afraid of, oh no, I couldn't jump over it. Okay, I'm at 94%, this should kill me, right? This should kill. Yeah, bollocks. <laughs> I was really hoping I could beat him. Got him, got him down to his last stop, like, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a complete pushover. Um, yeah, Mega Man's really cool when you could. He's also weird how he's very, like, he has no still animation, like, he is completely motionless. Which I guess makes sense of the character, but it's really weird compared to every other character in the game. Kind of jarring that he doesn't move at all. It's, it's really weird. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's, it's a design choice, and it's cool. It's just weird. It's just like how, um, if you play Wario, he doesn't, like, turn his body fully side onto the camera and walk. He kind of, like, just goes, da, 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 and just walks along in a really weird, like, almost, I want to say, like, uh, you know, like a like a pixel style movement. It's really hard to explain, but it's really unique how he does that too. So, yeah, some of the characters have really unique designs and moves and all that sort of thing. So yeah, that was Bowser. I feel like we did okay with him, but you feel free to suggest any other characters from the roster that I haven't covered yet. I want to play all the characters and eventually, at the very least, have a grasp of each and every single one. That's the whole idea. I want to expand my Smash Bros. knowledge. But I appreciate you guys watching. 
means a lot. Really encourages me to keep doing this, all that sort of thing. Uh, when I reach 300 subscribers, there will be a giveaway of a $100 Steam gift card. There was also going to be, for a second winner, a, a YouTube premium code. That's going to expire really soon, like as of the 1st of November, so not long after this recording. But, uh, beginning of next week, I will be mentioning a second prize instead. So, keep an eye out for that. Hit all those buttons, and I, I appreciate it if you stuck around. So, until the next time, guys, dodge that game over screen. I am Phantom 100 and I'm signing out for now.